Your nine to five salary is safe until it isn't. But if you have AI skills, you don't have to bet your entire life on a single source of income. In this video, I'm gonna break down five side hustles that technical professionals can start today to diversify their income. Over the past five years, I've tried just about every technical side hustle out there. The reason I've tried so many things is simple. I didn't have a roadmap for this journey. So I had to figure out most things on my own through trial and error. That's why my goal with this video is to share what actually works so you can skip the pain and the guesswork that I went through. I'll do this by sharing the five technical side hustles that are actually worth considering and some tips for getting started. The first side hustle is freelancing. This is the most accessible option because freelance gigs share a lot of similarities with traditional jobs. In fact, a simple strategy for getting started is to just do what you do in your full-time job, but as a freelancer. This is effective because one, you've already demonstrated your competence by getting your job, and two, the need is already somewhat validated because someone's already paying you to do this work. Most freelancers I know, including myself, got their first client in one of two ways. The first is referrals. So basically letting people in your network know that you're open to contract work. The second is Upwork, which is a freelancing platform where clients post jobs and freelancers can apply to those jobs. For example, my first client came from my PhD advisor to do some data collection and data engineering for a research study. While getting this opportunity was largely due to luck, it gave me the confidence to get my second client on my own through Upwork. The next side hustle is creating educational content about AI. What I like about this option is that even if I make no money from content, forcing myself to explain technical topics through a blog post or a YouTube video is the most effective way I've found to learn new things. But if you actually want to make money from it, there are three main ways to do that. One is to put your content behind a paywall. Two is to promote a product through free content. And three is to sell the content to a customer. While this can look many different ways, a few concrete examples from my personal experience include paywalling stories on Medium and getting paid through their partners program, monetizing YouTube videos through YouTube's partners program, writing a blog post for a company that they posted on their website, and finally, doing a partnership with a brand and linking their product in a video description. Some other ways I've seen people in my network do this include creating a Substack with a paid monthly membership, doing sponsored posts on X, and selling LinkedIn ghostwriting services. However, if these paths don't resonate with you, there is another option. Instead of charging for your content or promoting third-party products, you can use your content to sell your your own product or service. In other words, to sell one of the other side hustles on this list. Another version of freelancing is consulting. While these two are similar, the key difference with consulting is that instead of doing the hands-on keyboard work, you help clients with more strategic tasks like coming up with AI roadmaps, standing up an AI team, picking use cases, and outsourcing the implementation work to contractors or employees. Although this can look many different ways, a common starting point is to offer free discovery calls where you talk to potential clients about their problems and see how you can help. And this is exactly what I did when doing AI consulting. I'd post free content on YouTube and then link my discovery call page in my video descriptions. Although I only did one big consulting engagement until realizing it wasn't for me, this is one of the most common and lucrative business models I see from other technical entrepreneurs. The key benefit of consulting over freelancing is that you're no longer capped by your time. The business model is that you hire contractors and add a markup to their time, which makes your role less technical and more about sales, project management, and recruiting. The next side hustle is the one that's worked best for me, which is teaching people AI. While again, there are countless ways to do this, there are three modalities that I've seen 
work. The first are self-paced courses. So you can think of Udemy style courses that are pretty low ticket. So anywhere from 10 to $300. The second are live cohort based courses. This is more like a traditional classroom since sessions are live, which also means that they're at a higher price point. So anywhere from $500 to $5,000. And then third and finally live trainings for companies. So this is going to be pretty similar to the cohort based courses, but since it's a B2B offer, it's going to be at a much higher price point. So anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000. I'm currently doing the last two modalities, live cohort based courses and AI trainings for companies. While creating the educational content can be a lot of work, what's actually a bigger challenge in this space is getting customers. What's been working for me are content based sales funnels. In other words, I make YouTube videos, link a free digital product in my YouTube description, which gets newsletter signups, and then promote my AI cohorts in the newsletter. The final side hustle is the biggest yet riskiest opportunity for technical folks. It's building a software product. It's the biggest because it has a uncapped upside, but it's also the riskiest because it has a low probability of success. However, that's not to say it's not worth pursuing. In fact, I'd say this is the best path to pursue while working a full-time job. Here's why. If 90% of products fail, that gives you about a 10% success rate. But what if you built two products or five products or 20 products? Then the probability that just one of them works goes up to 19%, then 41%, then 88%. And since you have your bills covered with a full-time role, you can keep taking shots on goal until something works. I'm currently on this journey without a full-time job and of the two products I've built so far I've made a whopping $45 so that's why I'm gonna keep shipping stuff until something works I talk more about my approach and the lessons learned building these products in this previous video a side hustle is the best way to mitigate the risks of relying on a single source of income. Here I shared what I think are the five best AI side hustles for technical professionals. If you wanna see real numbers of how much I've made from each of these and the relative effort, check out the blog post linked in the description. If you have any questions about any of these paths, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for your time and thanks for watching.